Join the... Flight Club? First rule of Fight Club is... You do not talk about Flight Club. Second rule of Fight Club is... You do not talk about Flight Club. Third rule of Flight Club. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and join me for Pilot Wings. This, of course, is the Amateur Flight Simulator Classic from good old Nintendo. This is a game where you're going to be flying around some planes, but you're not going to be engaging in combat or anything like that. You're going to be attempting to earn your pilot's license. Yes, this is basically Nintendo's version of a driver's ed course in airplane format. So let's go ahead and start this off. I've actually never played this before. Join the Flight Club. Man, when I first read the description of this game, I thought they said Fight Clubs. I thought they said that you earned your wings through going through a series of Fight Clubs. Which would have been an awesome way to earn a pilot's license, let me tell you. You may not learn much about flying, but you beat a lot of people up in the process. No, it's Flight Club. Do you ever dream of flying? The Flight Club offers a variety of aerial sports to thrill and challenge you. Dare to take the first step and earn a license. Earn your license. I feel like this is the first slide in like a timeshare presentation. Like I'm going to get suckered into spending thousands of dollars a year at this like resort here. Hi, I'm Tony and I'll be your instructor for Area 1. Our lessons will cover a few basics, landing an airplane and skydiving for accuracy. Two things you should know how to do if you're going to fly. Landing the plane and freaking bailing on the plane. <laughs> It's like when you learn how to drive, you want to know how to parallel park and like duck and roll um, out of a car at high speed, just in case. Lesson number one, complete two objectives, score 120 or more to pass. Okay, so we have a target and a runway. Yeah, we can do this. I have no idea what the what the controls are. Let's start with light, a bit of light planing, and then we'll go into the skydiving. Let's go ahead and do this. Are these planes even still like flying anywhere in America or anything? Follow the green glide path, land on the runway. Start the game. A is maneuvers. Oh, let me check the maneuvers. Nose up, nose down, left, right. Speed up and speed down. Okay, I can. Uh, that seems pretty simple. But yeah, like look at the plane I'm flying. It looks like a World War One era like dogfighter. Oh God. Uh oh, oh, I'm going right into the ground. No, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> Well, we failed at that, guys. It was pretty tough, wasn't it? Yeah, I died. I got, I, not only did I get zero points, but I died. You're the worst instructor ever. You should be, why would you put me in a plane where I could die like that? You should have been there with me, holding the stick, making sure I don't die. Oh, and I don't even get a second shot? What? Okay, we're gonna go right to skydiving. Hey, that, that first inaugural flight went so well. What could go wrong with skydiving? A opens the parachute left, right. Okay, let's let's give it a give it a whirl. There's one fear button. Oh, I don't feel good about this at all. Oh, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? I'm, I'm just really gonna fall to my death. Can I just hold on? Cling to ladder. Where's that button? Cling for dear life. I don't think this is how you skydive, by the way. They don't just like lift you up on a ladder and like, oh, god. Why why can't I move here? What is happening? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so the reason that I sucked before, well, beyond just sucking, oh man, how are you supposed to steer yourself with this? I'm falling upside down. Yeah, this is how you wanna, I wonder what happened if I deployed my parachute. Um, oh, maybe I should actually deploy my parachute? Okay, there we go. Uh, but the reason that I sucked in my plane is that uh, I had my uh, my buttons configured wrong, so I went ahead and fixed that. Here we are in the, the parachute I'm just like floating away I don't know how to how to actually like steer myself here I guess I'll just kind of go in a circle hovering where I need to be look at these glorious 3d effect effects eh? like that building that's just totally painted onto the ground yeah landing area my butt this is I don't I don't believe this is a real training school I think somebody just spray painted it on the ground we gotta love these old Super Nintendo era 3d effects boom Hey, we lived! We lived! I kind of want to try the skydiving and just totally, like, you know, not even deploy the chute and just watch what happens. I'm curious. 48 to 70 points. Keep in mind, it is impossible to go backwards. 
Uh, okay. I need 70 points. I'm not certified. You know what? Even if I had somehow earned 20 points on that plane thing, or even if I had gotten in the exact bullseye of skydiving, shame on you for even considering to cer certify me. I crashed a plane within two seconds of getting in control of it. How dare you certify? I'm offended uh, that I'm still even in the running, to be, to be honest. I know I'm a, a danger out there. Let's give this plane thing another try here. Um... So Pilot Wings here was one of the launch titles for the Super Nintendo by the time it came to the States in North America in general. And I definitely, okay, now, see, now I can actually fly the plane. This is much better. Oh, and I'm missing these green dots. Uh, missing that one too. Rate of descent is too much. Man, am I going to hit this thing? Okay, I got it. Sweet, there we go. Missed that one. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Speed up, speed up. Speed up and pull up. There we go. Man, this is a lot harder than it looks. But yeah, like, I never played this as a kid. I always remember... Oh, this is a rough landing. <laughs> but we didn't crash. I always remember this game existed as a kid. And I think I maybe even tried it once or twice. But, like, this is kind of like Nintendo being Nintendo. Like, this is a very kind of, like, casual flying game. It feels almost like this should have come out on the Wii, you know, like, um, and so as a kid, I was totally way more interested in Mario. I was all about Mario. I, I didn't care at all about pilot wings, but it does seem kind of cool, actually, like coming back to it now. But as a kid, my God, this game uh, would have just bored the tears out of me. Okay, so I'm almost certified. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, you know what? You only need 70 points to be certified, so I can totally mess up skydiving, so that's what's going to happen. I'm I'm not going to deploy my chute this time around. And what I'm going to try and do is get the three-point superhero landing, where, like, I uh, land on, like, one fist and both my legs, whatever. You know, like, the three-point landing that you see all the superheroes when they, like, land on the ground really fast? That's what they do. We'll see how that works out for this guy. I'm willing to bet not, not good. But th this is such like an old school, like, flight school, or old school. Yeah, it's an old school flight school. We we're going this way. Yeah. Oh, we actually went through. We're going to get a whole bunch of points before we die. That's how we do. We're all about getting the points. We're going face first, guys. But we're going to go face first right into the bullseye. No, I will not open. Face first into the bullseye. Oh, that's a hard landing. <laughs> Through the ground. Yeah, this flight school is like flying like World War One era planes. It's taking up on like a rope, like a cartoonish rope uh, to like skydive. It reminds me of that guy that was like dropped out of orbit. And he was just like a ragdoll, like flopping around the atmosphere. Though he lived. I don't think I lived in this one. Did you do that on purpose? Tony isn't very happy with me, guys. I need 15 points to qualify. 105 points. You're not certified. Try again. What? I thought I only needed 70. Oh, man. Are we doing this again? Okay. Well, I won't mess around this time. We'll get this, guys. We'll get this. We're going to earn that pilot's license, I tell you. And we're going to take old Esther to the dance and, uh, you know, we'll dust the crops and, and at, the, at the ice cream social, I tell you. Because that's what era I think this game thinks it is. Oh, I'm just missing a couple of dots here. Got to get all the green dots. The pro pilots always get the green dots. That's what separates the, the wheat from the chaff in this game. All right, here we go. I mean, the music just sounds so Super Nintendo. And again, that, that the kind of cheesy 3D effects we got going on here, they really feel Super Nintendo-esque. Like, there's just something about the way the Super Nintendo did 3D that, like, I, I feel like I can recognize anywhere. Like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, F-Zero and stuff. And I'm trying to think of other 3D games that I know on the Super Nintendo. There aren't many. I mean, like, Star Fox, that used a totally different 3D system. Uh, oh, look, Tony's surprised. He's like, oh, my God, you did good. You didn't die this time. Yeah, that's right, Tony. I know what I'm doing once in a while. But the Star Fox used the 3D FX chip. Or wait, not 3D FX. Maybe it just was called the FX chip. I think 3D FX was a graphics card. 
in like the late 90s. Anyway, it uh, it basically used a different method for 3D. So like, see how all the buildings and stuff, like I, I, I made fun of it a little earlier. They're just, it, everything's flat. It's not like that building down there has any like 3D depth to it. It is literally just uh, a texture that's like painted on. Which is why it makes me think this school isn't 100% legitimate. Because their headquarters is just spray painted. <laughs> it's just a spray painted texture. Um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're gonna wait till the last minute, man. Boom! Rate of descent too great. Oh god, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? I wonder if you could like land on this thing. I I know I don't have the chops for that though, so I'm not even gonna try. I don't even know if I got enough points. Uh, did I do it? Total rate to steer, rotate to steer until you open your parachute. Okay. Um, congratulations! You are now certified. Great. This document is certified, so you've earned an international A-class license to fly. Your license number is your password. 985206. Remember that, guys. Don't want to forget that. Ooh, we got a new trainer. Hello, my name is Shirley, and your next lesson will feature the rocket belt. What? Is that regulation? We went from we went from flying like bi-wing fighters from the Luftwaffe to like now we've got rocket belts strapped to ourselves. Okay. I'm just going with it, man. I thought it was like the 30s, but now I'm, maybe this is like the distant future. People learn how to fly like really old planes for fun. To shift to overhead view, press L and R buttons. Okay. Uh, complete three objectives. Score 220 or more to pass. Okay. Oh, so we got three things to try out. Well, let's just hop to the new thing and fail at that so we can get that out of the way and then we'll figure out what we're doing. Uh, jets forward, jets reverse, shift view, fast jets, slow jets. Okay, this game doesn't seem that complicated. Um, we. Okay. Oh god. Get through the thing. Ring pass. Oh yeah. This is a lot more fun actually. Wee. Where am I supposed to go? Where's the other ring? Okay, there's another one over here. Alright, it's gonna reveal itself. Easy, easy. There we go. This can I'm having like flashbacks of like Superman 64. A game I've never played, by the way. But uh, you know, I've seen like the angry video ne game nerd play and other people and it's uh Obviously a hilarious, hilariously bad game. Okay, now if we can't land right in the bullseye with this one, then we don't deserve a pilot's license. Because this is so easy. Uh, 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 no. Watch the shadow. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, God. Get under. Go, 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 go. Yes! There was a floating platform in the water there. I know I could have gone for it, but knowing my luck, I would have drowned. Oh, a perfect run, my friends. A perfect run. That's how you do in the flight club. Look at her eyes. Her eyes turned to slits. Her eyeballs literally disappeared from her face. She was never expecting me to do so well. She wanted me to fail. She's a terrible instructor. I feel like these instructors also, by the way, they're not really instructing me so much as they're like, all right, here's an opportunity. Good luck. Like, they're not really telling me what to do or how to do it or anything. Let's, let's try the plane again. The light plane. I think we work our way up to like heavy F-16 fighter jets. I think that's that's the the next the next plane that we get to. Actually, you start. You always want to start with World War One era biplanes, and then go right to the like modern warfare battlefield F-16 Harrier jets or what have you. It'd be amazing if that's what happened. Actually, I think if you get far enough in this game, there is actually... Uh, the game changes at, at the end. Like, you spend the whole game trying to earn a pilot's license for some reason. And it's just these, like, little mini-games of trying to fly and stuff. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> ah, that seems about right in terms of uh, how I would actually land a plane. Uh, oh man, I didn't get points for anything. Got points for three rings. She's disappointed in me. Okay, well, it's evened out so far. We did terrible on the light plane and amazing on the rocket belt. 
If we do okay with the skydiving, I think we can pass this. Come on, guys. You think I have it in me? I don't know. Maybe. Maneuver through five rings, land inside the yellow target area. Gotcha, Becky, or whatever your name was. I forget. Anyway, you're trying to earn your pilot's license in this game, and I guess at the very end of the game, all your instructors who've helped you all this time suddenly get kidnapped by some kind of terrorist organization that takes over the training camp, and then you have to like fly around in an attack helicopter and try and like rescue them all. I know, it sounds, it sounds like I'm making it up. This sounds like a typical Gaming J, like ridiculous, fake nonsense, but oh man. They tricked me with those. Oh God. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're waiting, waiting. Boom, okay. Rate of descent too great, that's okay. That's okay. You may be like, where are you, where are you going, Jay? I'm gonna try and land in the middle. It's it's the middle or nothing, man. The middle or nothing, oh man. I can't believe I, I missed the water. Oh no! <laughs> I guess I didn't miss the water. And I died. Uh, nine. I got only nine points, but look, you're soaked. Yeah, I didn't do so well on that one. Light plane 30, skydiving nine. I can't certify you, try again later. She's like so sad. Yeah, um, I don't deserve certification. <laughs> I kind of, I've, I've crashed more planes than I've landed. Let's just put it that way. I'm not exactly the most careful guy behind the uh, the stick. You know, if I were actually in a plane, I would obviously be trying way harder because there's real consequences to crashing a real plane. But let me just say that I think you're putting me behind the stick of a plane a little too easily. I think the standards for this school are, uh, you know, not up to snuff. Oh God, pull up, pull up. There we go. There we go. This also kind of reminds me of a uh, Top Gun, that old uh, Nintendo game. Although that one was like always really brutal to actually try and uh, land. All right, here we go, man. Here we go. We're gonna try and do this. Try and do this. We're trying to be very careful. Very careful. Boom. Uh, break, 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 break. Like a glove. Oh yeah. So I guess, I guess I do have it. I guess I found the, the inner pilot, the inner Han Solo inside of me. Uh, I went from, what was it, 30 points last time to 74 points. I was, let's see, how many points? Oh, I was like horrible on time. So I lost 14 there, I lost two more, I lost 16. I lost 26 points. Oh, I guess it's out of 100. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So now let's try and do this skydiving thing. I'm going to... I think my strategy for this game is to do the things I suck at first, because if I mess them up and I have to redo like a training level, you don't want to you don't want to do the one you're good at first, because you know you, you're good at that one. Save that one for the end for when you're bad, and you know you need an easy an easy out. But as long as I can do good on this, I think we're good, and we'll at least make it to the third level of certification, which I think gives me access to Apache attack choppers. Although I cannot be 100% certain of that. Oh yeah, we're acing this. Oh, and we missed that one, that's okay. That's okay. Wait, we're gonna open it like this. Wee! oh God. I don't think I, I think I'm going right in the water in this one, guys. Right in the water. Oh, maybe not. Not again, not again! Oh, God. The exact same thing happened. I was trying to open up the parachute when, like, my legs are in the air. I got 12 points this time. Is that better than last time? Oh, my God. You need 134 points to qualify. So there's literally no point to carrying on because you can only get 100 points with the rocket belt. <sighs> okay, so let's try the skydiving one right off the bat again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, maybe this is why I didn't play as a kid Because like, even as an adult I'm like horrible at this I can only imagine what like A young A young rapscallion gaming J Would have thought of this game He probably wasn't very good at it Probably played it a few times I think I don't even remember I think I've seen this at people's houses 
I remember like this and the Super Scope were, were something I just never had for the Super Nintendo. Wee wee. Okay, come on. Shoot. Okay, we got that one. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we. It's all about where you land. We okay. Rate of descent is too great. Shut up. Man, it is so hard to like land in that target thing. I can't even tell what my altitude. Oh, okay, 300, 200. We're gonna try and time this. Time it just right. 140, 30, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. God damn it! We're going right in the water! I, I could see that happening in the ultimate, uh, whatever. Altimeter, altimeter, nine freaking points. You're soaked. Stop telling me I'm soaked. I know I'm soaked. I just crawled out of a lake. You did not train me at all. <sighs> I'm missing every single one of these things. I'm nowhere near them. Oh man. I am bad at this. We. I mean, might as well open it way over here. Rate of descent is too great. It's okay. All I need is like. Oh man. If I could just land in the center there. Oh wait. How do I do it this way? Turn it around. There's like a bridge or something I'm just seeing. Maybe this is like the safe way to approach. 200. Oh man. I'm like not even going to be anywhere near it. Nowhere near it. Uh, maybe I could like land here. Is there like a cut the parachute option? Oh, I landed like on the border of the freaking stupid thing. 43 points. Uh, it seems very hard, but don't give up. Okay, this is it, guys. If I do 100% on the rocket belt, then I get certified. And if I don't, I'm screwed. There's like, I have like one point of leeway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh God, help me. Somebody help me. Ring past. Two more. My, my only concern is like running out of fuel, which it says fuel there. I guess I can run out of fuel if I'm not careful. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, we got that one. This is like a uh, weird like elevator music. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. One more, one more, one more for the road. Okay, we got it. Now all we gotta do is land in the dead center of this thing over here. Okay, we can do it. <sighs> There's like a lot of pressure on me right now not to mess up. I guess if I land like on that center thing, I'll get even more points, but like, no, 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 no. I don't wanna mess it up. Oh God. Okay, land. Did I do it? Did I do it? Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I never expected you to do so well. That's right. Don't doubt me, Debbie, or whatever your name is. 221 points, congratulations. You're becoming very good. I passed just barely. This document certifies you've earned an international B-class license. I can now fly commercial flights across the Atlantic, I guess. All right. Now, who's our new instructor? Lance. Lance, you look like the world has beaten you down, sir. Now we're being trained in hang gliders. A natural progression. You start with the biplane, go to parachuting, then right to rocket ship or rocket packs, then on to the hang glider. More a much more casual, um, casual type of flying thing. Oh, thank God the skydiving is gone. We might actually be able to get to the next level. <laughs> I was so bad at skydiving. Skydiving isn't even about being a pilot. It's just like falling. Falling with style. Ride thermal current to altitude of 500 feet, then land on target. Oops, I should check the controls. Uh, okay. So, I mean, just go up to 500. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, wait. Whoa! Whoa, we're nose diving hardcore. Hardcore. Okay. W what is that that I'm seeing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I I'm bad at this, too. 
Turns out skydiving wasn't the only thing Killer Gaming J had troubles with. What? Wait, what were the buttons? Oh, we're going down hard. We're going down hard. <laughs> Somebody help me. Oh, I think I broke my legs and I landed out of the area. Do I get any points for that? Give me something. Throw me a bone. Rules ignored, zero points. Don't forget to ascend to 500 feet. Um, do you want to give up? Lance is not the most motivational flight instructor, let me tell you that. Okay, let's check the actual controls for the hang glider this time around. Pro tip, when you get strapped to a piece of fabric and just thrown into the sky, make sure you check how to control that thing. Flare slash quick turn. I don't know what any of that means, but uh, okay, we're gonna try it. See what happens. I tried to just like go up before. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm pressing down to go up and like nothing's happening. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, the currents, take me, take me away. Take me away. Am I hitting them? Am I hitting them? Why am I, why am I, oh, oh God. There we go. Okay, something happened. I'm, I'm really high. I'm coming down hard. I'm coming down really hard. I don't know what happened there. I'm all over the place. You cannot control this thing. Oh man, you're, they literally strap you in and you're just holding on for dear life. Cause you see how this thing's going up and down? I'm not pressing up and down guys. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know how to land this thing. I'm in a whole world of trouble. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Only single people should do this. Because if you have a family, you're pretty much just kissing them goodbye. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's just... Uh, no. Land on the thing. We gotta get some points. We gotta get some points here. 22 feet. Okay, go down. Go down. Right now. Oh, we landed. What? Out of area? I was on the landing strip. I was on a landing strip. Okay, so uh, I lost 60 points there. Um, 180 points. Okay, so I gotta get, like, if you can do it, you can do it if you try your best. Well, what should we do? Let's try the plane, because I consistently do not get above 75 on the plane. So if I, if I can't do this, then... And uh, I could be in some trouble. Here we go. I've never had to take off before. This is new. Okay, we cannot miss a single thing. Oh, uh, but you know what? They're like gonna score me on time and stuff, and there's like no way that I'm gonna be able to do this quickly. Well, this is a practice run. Okay, here we go. It's funny how I was like, oh man, thank God skydiving's over. I'm so bad at it. And then they're like, oh, here's hang gliding. It's you're even worse at it. Well, actually, maybe I'm not worse at it. I didn't do worse at it, but, you know, not very good. Oh, God. Do you ever have games where, like, you feel like you, you know, you feel like you should know how to play it? Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to hit the water. I've, I've already screwed up too much, I think. Missing that one was just too much. Oh, man. Like, this plane is not very responsive. Dive. Dive, you bastard. Dive. Don't miss it. I think I got it. Uh, I'm totally gonna miss this ring. Well, I'm all over the place. How about if we just cut the engines? Nope. Nope. Oh, no, no, not that much. Ah, well, we're going in the water. We're, we're done. We're, we're not gonna make it. Missing, like, more than one ring. <laughs> Lost at sea. But do you ever have games where, like, you feel like you, you should know how to play it? You should... Stalling uh, will occur if you cut too much power. Where you should know how to, like, pass the game but like you're just not actually good at it i feel like this is one of those games i feel like I, I i'm never like amazing at simulator games in general because video games themselves are a little forgiving in the controls and the thing with simulators is they're just tougher in the sense of um you know they just require like much more precision in the controls and stuff like that so i like video games that are a little more forgiving for those types of things and simulation games just tend not to be um which so for like pilot wings here like i know what i'm supposed to be doing i guess what i didn't make it to 500 oh man i'm 
Screwed. Where's that thing? We're gonna keep on riding this baby. We're going up to 500, I tell ya. Up to 500. Here we go. We're gonna ride it. Ride it all the way up. Come on, something, something's gonna happen. Here we go. Yeah! Are you kidding? 480? How did I get up to 500 that first time? Oh, man. I don't know if we're gonna get to the next level of, of pilot certification here. This is brutal. Okay, we're just... We're not gonna get any points for time, but that's okay. This is a, a leisurely, uh, a leisurely hang glide. But yeah, so for this game, like, I feel like I know what the controls want of me, but it just sort of controls too precisely. It's not forgiving enough in the controls for me. There we go. Made it up to 500. Now we're taking a huge nosedive. Okay, I, I get it. I understand you want me to, to land. Where's the island? By the way, I've, I've lost the island. I have no idea where I am. Looking for the island. There we go. Wish there was just like a dive button. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is working. Rate of descent too great. Yeah, but if I don't descend this fast, I'm totally going to miss the landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was horrible. Okay. Let's give this one more try. And I think I'm going to start wrapping this game up here. Uh, yeah, I do want to give up. When you earn zero points, that's not a good sign. I don't think they're going to certify if you get zero. But, uh, all right, so pilot wings. What are our thoughts on pilot wings here, guys? I feel like pilot wings is one of those, like, classic Super Nintendo games that, like, a lot of people I knew uh, knew about or had played in some capacity. It just sort of, like, got by me. I think as a kid, I definitely didn't have patience for a game like this. Uh, as as a grown-up kid, now I like I I see how Pilot Wing could have a bit of appeal. I think you know personally, um, it's like a pretty seems like a pretty like decent simulator and so on. But like personally, I kind of find it too finicky in terms of the controls. Um, like it requires like a much more precise hand than mine. To play and that's not a bad thing per se it's just sort of uh, you know my own preference for games I'd prefer something that was just a little more arcadey uh, but at the same time you know not as realistic like the controls are kind of floaty almost um, is this how you land oh well oh here we go here we go and we land oh come on that was that was all aces, man. That was a perfect landing. If you don't try for the target, where is the target? I thought I was aiming for the target. This game's too obscure. This is another thing. Okay, so like pros and cons of this game. You know, for its era, it was a pretty cool like 3D game. Let's just try the rocket boat one. It was a pretty cool like 3D game on the Super Nintendo. So back in an era where there wasn't a lot of like 3D stuff, definitely this thing stood out. And it is like it is definitely a classic. Don't get me wrong. But you know, in terms of cons, like it's not like some of the Super Nintendo's other most famous games, like you know Super Mario Brothers and stuff. Like this, definitely, I don't know. Like it's it's a casual game almost. Um, I mean, it kind of feels casual-ish. What am I supposed to do here, by the way? What? Not that. Like, why is there a green dot right above the water? Who's who's gonna get that? Oh my god, this game went from like somewhat passable to like impossible really quickly there seems to be a really intense difficulty curve which is something I'm, I'm not crazy about in this one but like you know this this was like a pretty cool game for its era and i know people really love the pilot wing 64. so definitely there's a legacy of stuff going on here and if you're interested in pilot simulators i would see this being like a game you might actually want to check out because it's like a classic retro simulator and you know it is it has really nice graphics. It has like lovely sort of elevator music, but like elevator music that has sort of a Nintendo feel to it. I don't know, like I like the vibe going on in this game. I feel like if I were, if I personally were watching someone better play it, maybe it'd be a little more interesting, which doesn't speak volumes for you guys who are watching me right now. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, sometimes it's fun to watch people fail too. 
Uh, it is always fun watching me do horrible at games and suck. Uh, so yeah. So you know, like, ultimately, okay, is this a game that you should play before you die? Is this a game you must play before you die, as the book tells us? <sighs> I don't think so. I don't, I don't think this is a must play in my own opinion. So, based on my first impressions here today, I would say like in Jay's book, in Jay's mind, this isn't something I would consider a must play. That may be my own, you know, preferences in gaming, but yeah, I don't know. Who knows? What do you guys think? Do you agree with my recommendation here? Have I totally misrepresented a classic of the Super Nintendo? And I, uh, you know, I haven't, don't know what I'm talking about. I'm always open to that possibility. You can go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And if you completely agree with me and you find Pilot Wings to be sort of a challenging game and not your favorite Super Nintendo game, you can let me know too. Um, I think, you know, even even games that I've played that I wouldn't recommend as must-plays, I think almost every game I've definitely enjoyed at some level. Like this game, though I wouldn't call it a must-play, it's kind of funny to, like, fail at the rocket thing or, like, watch the guy, like... Uh, fail parachuting and yeah it's a little challenging but if i stuck with it i could probably figure it out but um still at that at the same time it's like you know um i think they're just uh super nintendo games that, that speak much closer to like whoa this is a horrible landing this is not how you land a plane oh pfft. <laughs> well a suitable way to end the video guys Guys, if you have enjoyed watching me absolutely fail at earning a pilot's license, go ahead, uh, give this video a like and or subscribe to the channel because I will be back in a couple days in my ongoing quest to try out all the games in the book, 1001 Games, just play before you die. There's a link in the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully you end up subscribing and uh, you join me for the next video, which will be in just a couple days. Until then, my friends, take care of yourselves. And stay out of flight clubs. Alright, peace. Look at this guy's face. Just completely unimpressed with me. What a dick.